Beetlejuice. 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 It's showtime. First, we're going to start out by making your marbled cupcakes. You're going to be needing a white cake mix and just simply follow the directions on the back of the box. Once you have combined everything together, you're going to set this aside and you're going to do the same thing to your chocolate cake mix. a jumbo sized cupcake pan and you're going to line it with the paper liners then you're going to fill it up a quarter of a cup of each of the batter just layering them on top of each other and while you're filling all of your pans make sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Once you have filled each section almost to the top, you're going to take a barbecue stick and swirl it around. This will create the marbled look. Try not to play around with it too much or else you'll lose some of the design and you're going to end up mixing the batters together. So just probably count to 6 or 7 and just stop there then move on to the next cupcake. Next I have a mini size cupcake pan and lining that with paper liners. I'm going to do the exact same thing layering my batter. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're marbling your cupcakes, try to stick your barbecue stick as far as you can so you're swirling all the layers, not just the top part. Now that you're ready to bake, bake them at 350 degrees and however long it says in the box. Then you're going to let them cool for about 10 minutes before decorating. Next, take your clay pots and you're going to thoroughly wash them. Line them with your paper liners and you're going to stick a cupcake in each one. Now you're going to take yellow icing and spread it on top of the cupcake. Then dunk it into your sprinkles and move it around to make sure everything gets covered. Once you have done this to all of your cupcakes, now we can move on to the most fun part. Here I'm just kneading polymer clay in my hands and rolling it into a log. Then I stuck a lollipop stick from the bottom to help me mold and shape the sandworm's tail. You can definitely use marzipan, which is edible, but I chose it to do it this way so that I can use the figurines over and over again. Continue making different sizes of the sandworm's tail and you're going to be needing two for each of the small cupcakes and three for the bigger cupcakes. You're going to stick a lollipop stick in each of them to make sure that they fit right in because you'll be using the lollipop sticks to stick in your cupcake. Place them all in a baking sheet and bake them for 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Let them completely cool and they should have hardened like this. 
Set all of these aside and we're going to make the sandworm's head. First, roll your clay into a log, making sure that one end is bigger than the other. Then curve and mold it to shape it like the head. Then take the back of a knife and you're going to split the clay right down the middle. This will be the sandworm's mouth and try molding and shaping it as close as you can to the one in the movie. Widen the sandworm because we're going to be placing the other little sandworm that goes in his mouth. Roll a tiny portion of clay in your hands and you're going to do the exact same thing. Once you're done molding the little guy, you're going to place it inside the bigger sandworm's mouth. Now you're going to make the tongue of the sandworm. Roll a clay into a log and you're going to curl it like a tongue. Place this into the sandworm's mouth and continue making the rest of the sandworm's features. sure that I have all the details of the sandworm, I just temporarily removed the smaller sandworm and here I'm just placing a rolled out log around the mouth of the bigger sandworm. Once you're done molding the mouth, you're going to add in the teeth. And you're going to also do the same thing to the little guy. Keep molding and shaping the sandworm to how you like and you're going to stick a lollipop stick through the neck. Then you're going to bake this at 200 degrees for 35 minutes. For the sandworm's tails, I'm just sectioning it off with tape. Make sure the tape is all straight around the edges. Stick the lollipop stick back in and you're going to paint the open sections black. Let this dry for about 30 minutes and you can place it in a cup of rice to help it stay up. Once you have finished painting all of your sandworm's tails, go ahead and paint the sandworm's head. Now that your sandworm has fully come to life, go ahead and place them into your cupcakes. Not so fast, brown boy. We're gonna have some last. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out fashionclub.com for more DIY tutorials and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel.